The Bengals drive about to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. From the gun, Jones, flush to his right. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. First down. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and twelve. Brings up second. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Behind the chain, second and 12. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Jones. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. It's good to make it 17-7. Good. Makes the score Dolphins 17, Bengals 7. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Bengals drive about to get going. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Troy Pride. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Steps away to his left. 
And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 12 yards there and a first down. At the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. At the 41 yard line. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Back to throw again. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. And incomplete. It leads to second and ten. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it online. It ran out of gas at the end. We're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. Taken in the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven. Now back to throw. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That's good. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On play action, they'll throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught by Jackson. Just his second catch of the game so far, and this one moves the chains. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. Ball carrier. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. 
second and five. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Cincy defense stands up on third. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and force that incompletion. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. A nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five. So second and five coming up. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Brings up second and five. Throwing Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Jones, off play action, rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Second and seven. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 23. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid combination defense. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. To number 83. 23 yards touchdown. for the touchdown. And the Bengals able to get this back within a touchdown. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting. But the only way to get there, start small. Score and worry about getting the next one after that. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and six just inside the 30. Throw downfield is taken in by his running back. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Pollard. 
fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. The ball carrier. Sean Dion Hamilton was there to bring him down defensively. Here's Pollard again. They find some open field here. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tony Pollard, 35 yards. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Five-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. And throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. Jones now off the play fake. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Josh Allen able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. the play fake Jones catch made by Slayton and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds his second catch of this wild card game and it goes for a first down Bengals Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Jones on third down. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Now this throw caught left side. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there, just like last play. First down, Cincinnati. Here's Jones on first and 10. Flushed out right. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Troy Pride, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. That's a gain of six. Brings up third and three. 
So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Give them the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Run for Pollard. And he's got Rome. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Britain, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing it. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's probably running them into submission. Uh, I think you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that? Being able to put the big check marks up in the locker room, right? Get, you know, get to the wild card game. Check. Got that done. Win a wild card game. Big check. Now you've got to go ahead and set your sights higher. There is a bigger prize out there, and they still have an opportunity. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.